Good evening and welcome to the Big Quiz live from Shemitah Donalds this Wednesday evening. Thank you for joining me. Now, so this week scientists have found that penises are shrinking due to pollution, which I think is really another reason to go electric if you ask me. A woman in Lancashire was left baffled when she found a love note left at her door by a secret admirer. The weird thing was it came along with the offering of two giant Frankfurter sausages in a sandwich bag. And finally, working in IT support, you often get asked the, asked the same questions. The reply is often, have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, oh, that worked great. But occasionally, something catches you off guard. My computer's just went down on me. What button did you press to get that? So this week we have Across the Pond selling out selling out writing while I'm talking. We've got great excuse for a midweek drink, Ginger and the Technophobes, the Pulp Burtsters, and Yeah, the Twerps, and the Twerps are here as well. Round one this week is general knowledge. Here we go, question number one. What is Australia's largest inland uh, city? What is Australia's largest inland city? Oh, the Pokey Raiders are here as well. Question number two. Nature has spoken, and this year a sweater won't do. Are both movie poster taglines for which 2004 Hollywood film? Nature has spoken, and this year a sweater won't do were both movie poster taglines for which 2004 Hollywood film? Question number three. Father Merrin is a central character in two Exorcist films. What is his first name? Father Merrin is a central character in two Exorcist films. What is his first name? Question number four, which product with a protected designation of origin status can only produced, be produced in Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire and Leicestershire? Which product with a protected designation of origin status can only be produced in Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire and Leicestershire? Thank you, Tom. I, I thought I'd put something new on the bottom of the screen today. Question number five. Which iconic football stadium, which once held up to 200,000 spectators, is named after a tiny seven kilometre long river? Which iconic football stadium, which once held up to 200,000 spectators, is named after a tiny seven kilometre long river?
Question number six. Measured in people killed, wounded and left homeless, over which city was most destructive sing was the most single dis hang on was the most destructive single aerial bombing attack in human history Me <laughs> measured in people killed wounded and left homeless over which city was the most destructive single aerial bombing attack in human history Question number seven. What is Lady Gaga's last name? What is Lady Gaga's last name? Question number eight. Found in many cities and towns, the name of which building stems from the Greek word for singing place? Found in many cities and towns, the name of which building stems from the Greek word for singing place? Question number nine. How many European kings or emperors were murdered between the years 1900 and 1935? How many European kings or emperors were murdered between the years 1900 and 1935? Question number 10. MERS, like SARS, is a novel coronavirus. What does MERS stand for? MERS, like SARS, is a novel coronavirus. What does MERS stand for? Okay, here's the recap of round one. Question number one. What is Australia's largest inland city? What is Australia's largest inland city? Question number two. Nature has spoken and this year a sweater won't do. Were both movie poster taglines for which 2004 Hollywood film? Question number three. Father Mirren is a central character in two exorcist films. What is his first name? Question number four. Which product with a protected designation of origin status can only be produced in Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire and Leicestershire? And number five. Which iconic football stadium which once held up to 200,000 spectators is named after a tiny 11 kilometer long river? That was seven kilometers, not 11. Question number six. Measured in people killed, wounded and left homeless, over which city was the most destructive single aerial bombing attack in human history? Question number seven. What is Lady Gaga's last name? Question number eight. Found in many cities and towns, the name of which building stems from the Greek word for singing place? I'm 
that's a little bit misleading. I would go which the name of uh, the building for which company. Question number nine. How many European kings or emperors were murdered between the years 1900 and 1935? And number 10. MERS, like SARS, is a novel coronavirus. What does M-E-R-S stand for? Okay, so I'm hoping you all have answers for all of those questions. Here are the answers to round number one. Question number one is Canberra. Question number two, the film was The Day After Tomorrow. Question number three, in The Exorcist, it was Lancaster. Number four is Stilton. Number five, Maracana. I think that's how you pronounce it. Number six is Tokyo. Number seven, Lady Gaga, is German Otter. Number eight is Odeon, is Singing Place. Number nine is six. And MERS stands for Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. So how many of you got 10 out of 10 on round one? Here. Across the pond, thank you very much. Pokey Raiders. Oh dear, great excuse for midweek drink. Need to drink more, I think. Pulp Burtsters. Ginger the Technophobes. Twerps. I'm just waiting for the points to score from Selen's out. My, my pen's really noisy. Thank you. Okay, so at the end of round one, Great Excuse for a Midweek Drink are on one point. In second place with three points are the Twerps. In third place with four points are Selen's out and Ginger the Technophobes. Uh, was third, fourth, fourth place with five points, the Pulp Burtsters, and in the lead with seven, oh, sorry, and Pokey Raiders, and in the lead with seven points across the pond, which brings us into round two, which is today, the 24th of March. All of these questions have something to do with the 24th of March. Here we go, question number 12, 11. Can't count. It would be 11, wouldn't it? It does say 11 on the screen, yes. James VI of Scotland gained which additional title on this day in 1603? James VI of Scotland gained which additional title on this day in 1603? Question number 12. Eric Weiss was born today in 1874. By what name do we usually know him? Eric Weiss was born today in 1874. By what name do we usually know him? Question number 13. The writer of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days passed away today in 1905. Who was he?
The writer of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days passed away today in 1905. Who was he? Question number 14. 76 prisoner of wars starting their started their escape from Starlag Luft 3. On this day in 1943, a story told in which classy, classic film of the 1960s. 76 prisoner of wars started their escape from Salag Luft III on this day in 1943. A story told in which classic film of the 1960s. Question number 15. Born today in 1930, who played the title character in the 1968 film Bullet? Born today in 1930, who played the title character in the 1968 film Bullet? Question number 16. 39 people were killed in a fire in a tunnel under which Alpine Mountain today in 1999? 39 people were killed in a fire in a tunnel under which Alpine Mountain today in 1999? Question number 17. Viscount Montgomery of Alamine died today in 1976. What was his first name? Viscount Montgomery of Alamine died today in 1976. What was his first name? Question number 18. One of the biggest selling albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon, was released today in 1973 by which group? One of the biggest selling albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon, was released today in 1973 by which group? Question number 19. Joseph Barbera was born on this day in 1911. In what field did he make his name? Joseph Barbera was born on this day in 1911. In what field did he make his name? And question number 20. How old is Sir Alan Sugar today? It's his birthday. How old is Sir Alan Sugar? Okay, here's the recap of round two. Question number 11. James VI of Scotland gained which additional title on this day in 1603? Question number 12. Eric Weiss was born today in 1874. By what name do we usually know him? Question number 13. The writer of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days passed away today in 1905. Who was he? Question number 14. 76 Prisoner of Wars prisoner of war, started their escape from Stalag Luft III on this day in 1943, a story told in which classic film of the 1960s? And question number 15. Born today in 1930, who played the title character in the 1968 film Bullet?
Question number 16. 29 people were killed in a fire in a tunnel under which Alpine Mountain today in 1999. Question number 17. Viscount Montgomery of Alamine died today in 1976. What was his first name? Question number 18. One of the biggest selling albums of all time, Dark Side of the Moon, was released today in 1973. By which group? Question number 19. Joseph Barbera was born on this day in 1911. In what field did he make his name? And question 20. How old is Sir Alan Sugar today? That's the 24th of March 2021. Okay, here are the answers to round two. Question number 11. The extra title he gained was James I of England. Question number 12. Now hang on. You can't see the answers, can you? Question number 11. James. Come on. On the screen. There we go, James I of England. Question number 12 is Harry Houdini. Number 13, Jules Verne. Number 14, The Great Escape. Number 15 is Steve McQueen. Number 16, Mont Blanc. Number 17, Bernard. Number 18 was Pink Floyd. Number 19 was Amination. And number 20, Sir Alan Sugar is 24, <laughs> 24, 74 years old. The scores are coming in. First scores are in. Looking good. 10 out of 10. Uh, one year either way on question... No, I need to know how old he is today. It's his birthday. Question number Okay, all of the scores are in. All of the scores are in for round two, and they are as follows. In first place, across the pond with 17 points in second place. <laughs> in second place, uh, with 13 points, are the Pokey Raiders and Ginger the Technophobes. In third place, with 12 points, the Pulp Burtsters. In fourth place, with 11 points, Salon Out. 10 points for Great Excuse for a Midweek Drink. Um... I've missed one. Junior the Tentophobe 13. And nine points for the twerbs. Twerp, twerps. Can't read. The, the P's the wrong way up. The twerbs. Um, which brings me on to round three. And at this point in the quiz, I will give you a word or a phrase, at which point you need to use the letters in that word or a phrase to answer the questions I'm asking. Now, quite aptly, it was the end of Drag Race UK last week. Hopefully you've seen it. There are no... Um, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but the winner of Drag Race UK was... I rolled the wrong bit. Lawrence Cheney. Which means that Scrabble letters today are Lawrence, Lawrence Cheney. Question number 21. 
compete with another or others who see who is to see who is fastest. Compete with another or others to see who is fastest. Question number 22, where young children are cared for during the working day. Where young children are cared for during the working day. Number 23, to masticate. To masticate. Number 24, cultivated plant of the parsley family. Cultivated plant of the parsley family. Twenty five, an elastic polyurethane fabric used for close fitting sports clothing. An elastic polyurethane fabric used for close fitting sports clothing. And I'll give you these questions on the screen for a little bit longer and then we'll go to part two of the quiz. And and, and I, I feel like I'm rushing. I'm trying not to rush, but over the last few weeks I have um, overrun and I'm trying to keep the quiz to an hour so that, you know, you've got other programs to watch, I'm sure. Is Line of Duty on today? So what time's the circle on? Who got blocked last night? That's the question. Ooh. Okay, here is part two of Squabble. Number 26. Small round fruit with f sweet flesh, large stone and thin rough skin. Small round fruit with... A sweet flesh, sweet white flesh, large stone and thin rough skin. Question number 27. Dog light African mammal. Dog like African mammal. Number 28, an area of short, regularly mown grass in the garden. An area of short, regularly, 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 <laughs> often mown grass in the garden. I've just found another word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Number 29, a brand of vacuum. Number 29, a brand of vacuum. And number 30, move around on all fours. leave you these questions on the screen for another 30 seconds or so and then we'll go straight into the answers Okay, now I was gonna play this joke at the end of the quiz, but I, you know, we're at the halfway point now. We're one or two and a half rounds into. The, we've got two and a half rounds left, um, and I'm gonna play you this joke. It's only about 
10 seconds. Children should be banned from listening to live orchestra music. There's too much sex and violence. <laughs> and here are the answers to round two. Question number 21. Compete with other or others to see who is fastest is to race. Number 22. Where young children are cared for during the working day is a crush. Number 23. To masticate is chew. 24. Cultivated plant of the parsley family is celery. And number 25. An elastic polyurethane fabric used for close fitting sports clothing is lycra. So race, crash, chew, celery, and lycra. Number 26. The small round fruit I'm looking for is a lychee. The dog-like African mammal is a hyena. An area of short, often mown grass in the garden is a lawn. A brand of vacuum is a henry. And number 30. Move around on all fours is to crawl. So it's another 10 point round on that one. So we're now out of 30 in total. Pokey Raiders, thank you very much. 10 out of 10. Across the pond, 10 out of 10. Ten out of ten for the pulp birdsters. Eight points for the twerps. Nine points for great excuse for a midweek drink. Eight points for selling out. And ten points for Ginger and the Technophobes. So does that do anything for the positions? I need for great excuse for a midweek drink. I forgot to put carry the one. It just gave you you had nine out of thirty for a moment there. So you are on 19 out of 30. Okay. So uh in last place is the twerps, and in the lead is a Still across the pond with 27 points. Which brings us on to uh, round four, which is uh, the round inspired by the chase. Now, these are quite long questions. They don't completely fit on the screen. Here we go. Question number 31. Who became the governor of... I it's multiple choice, You're nearly all of them. Who became the governor of Idaho in 2007? Was it Butch Otter, Sturdy Muskrat or Gritty Beaver? Who became the governor of Idaho in 2007? Was it Butch Otter, Sturdy Muskrat, or Gritty Beaver? Number 32. What is the cartoon character Andy Cap known as in Germany? Is he Dick Tingler, Helmut Schmacker, or Willy Wacker? What is the cartoon character the character the cartoon character? The cartoon character Andy Cap known as in Germany. Is it Dick Tingler, Helmut Schmacker, or Willy Wacker? Question number 33. Dump, bloater and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Is it badminton, volleyball or water polo? Dump, bloater and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Is it badminton, volleyball or water polo? Number 34. What is the name of Al Gore's wife? Is it Chipper, Tipper or Flipper? What is the name of Al Gore's wife? Is it Chipper, is she Chipper, Tipper or Flipper? Number 
Question number 35. Who represented the Seychelles in the 1800 seashells? Seychelles. She sells seashells. Who represented the Seychelles in the 800 meters at the 2012 World Indoor Athletic Championships? Was it Gaylord Silly, Pansy Picker, or Horace Mincy Walker? Who represented the Seychelles in the 800 meters at the 2012 World Indoor Athletic Championships? Was it Gaylord Silly, Pansy Picker, or Horace Mincy Walker? Question number 36. Where in Wales is Llanvaia Pothgwyn Gilgoch Gerig on Droboch and Silio Gogolgoch? Is it in Pembrokeshire, Y Valley, or Anglesey? Where in Wales is Llanvaia Pothgwyn Gilgoch Gerig on Droboch and Silio Gogolgoch? Is it Pembrokeshire, Y Valley, or Anglesey? Sure, I can pronounce that, but I can't pronounce regularly, 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 yeah. Question number 37. In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Is it swimming, show jumping, or skiing? In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Swimming, show jumping, or skiing? Question number 38. In 2017, what snack food company released the men's fragrance pork? Was it Pepperami, Ginsters or Mr Porky? In 2017, what snack food company released the men's fragrance pork? Was it Pepperami, Ginsters or Mr Porky? Number 39, 19th century composer William Crotch was also famous as a player of what instrument? The oboe, the bagpipes or the organ? 19th century composer William Crotch was also famous as a player of what instrument? Oboe, bagpipes or organ? And question number 40. British rapper Tyrone Lindo is best known by what name? Is he Big Nasty, Massive Dirty or Colossal Brown? British rapper Tyrone Lindo is best known by what name? Big Nasty, Massive Dirty or Colossal Brown? And here's the recap of round number four. Question number 31. Who became the governor of Idaho in 2007? Was it Butch Otter, Sturdy Muskrat or Gritty Beaver? Number 32. What is cartoon character Andy Cap known as in Germany? Is he Dick Tingler, Helmut Schmacker or Willy Wacker? Number 33, dump, floater and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Badminton, volleyball or water polo? Number 34, what is the name of Al Gore's wife of more than 40 years? Chipper, Tipper or Flipper? And number 35, who represented the Seychelles in the 800 metres at the 2012 World Indoor Athletic Championships? Gaylord Silly, Pansy Picker or Horace Mincy Walker? Question number 36. Where in Wales is Llanvaia Pothgwyn 
Gerech Gondrobo, Hantisili or Gogogoch. It's Pembrokeshire, Y Valley or Anglesey. Number 37. In which sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Swimming, show jumping or skiing? Number 38. In 2017, what snack food company released the men's fragrance pork? Pepperami, Ginsters or Mr Porky? Number 39. 19th century composer William Crutch was also famous as a player of what instrument? Oboe, bagpipes or organ? Number 40. British rapper Tyrone Lindo is best known by what name? Big Nasty, Massive Dirty or Colossal Brown? Let's see how you're done. Here are the answers to round number four. Question number 31. What is Butch Otter? Number 32 was Willy Whacker. Number 33 is Volleyball. Number 34 is Tipper. Number 35, Gaylord Silly. Number 36 is in Anglesey. Just doing it because I think I can. Number 37, skiing. 38 is pepperami. Number 39 is the organ. And number 40 is big nasty. This microphone is picking up every single time I write something. Does anyone know how to like fix microphones so it doesn't do that? So at the end of round five, all the points are in. At the end of round five, I'm just going to go down the list. The Twerps are on 25 points. Pulp Burtsters, 31. Ginger the Technophobes, 33. Great Excuse for a Midweek Drink, 26 points. Across the Pond, 35. Selling Out, 26. And the Pokey Raiders are on 32. Now with 20 points to play for, I'm sure it is still... What, 45 is the maximum the twerps could get? And if the uh, if Cross the Pond really screw up, then, you know, twerps, you're in with a fighting chance. So this is Answer Smash. I'm going to show you a picture, which I will be holding, and I will ask you a question on the screen. You need to merge those two answers together to give me the answer for Answer Smash. Here we go. Question number 41. Name the person in the picture... And the song by American band Survivor, released in 1982, and it was the theme song for the film Rocky III. Name the person in the picture, and the song by American band Survivor, released in 1982, and it was the theme song for the film Rocky III. Number 42, <clears throat> name the item in between my hands and a child's toy that consists of a stick with brightly coloured pieces of plastic at one end that turn around when you blow them or hold the toy in the wind. I can't fancy the question. A child's toy that consists of a stick with brightly coloured pieces of plastic at one end and that turn around when you blow them or hold them the toy in the wind.
Number 43, name the person in the picture and a malleable metal alloy consisting of tin, antimony, copper, bismuth and sometimes silver. Name the person in the picture and a malleable metal alloy consisting of tin, antimony, copper, bismuth and sometimes silver. Number 44, name the singer in the picture and the comedy film telling the story of an upper class broker played by Dan Aykroyd and a poor street hustler played by Eddie Murphy whose lives cross when they are unwittingly made the subject of an, of an elaborate bet. Name the singer in the picture and the comedy film telling the story of an upper-class broker, played by Dan Aykroyd, and a poor street hustler, played by Eddie Murphy, whose lives cross when they are unwittingly made the subject of an elaborate bet. Number 45, name the singer in the picture and an organised military force equipped for fighting on land. Name the singer in the picture and an organised military force equipped for fighting on land. Number 46, name the season and a break in a theatre performance. Name the season and a break in a theatre performance. Number 47, name the actress and... A state in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. The state capital is Salem and its largest city is Portland. Name the actress in the picture and a state in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. The state capital is Salem and its largest city is Portland. Number 48, name the cartoon character and the state, no, the Canadian-American sci-fi sci -fi series based on unused material by Gene Roddenberry starring Kevin Sorbo as High Guard Captain Dylan Hunt. Name the cartoon character in the picture and the Canadian-American sci-fi series based on unused material by Gene Roddenberry starring Kevin Sorbo as High Guard Captain Dylan Hunt. And number 49, name the cartoon character and toy and the sweet cocktail made with rum, coconut and pineapple juice. Name the cartoon character and toy and the sweet cocktail made with rum, coconut and pineapple juice. And number 50, name the band in the picture and the world's largest museum, education and research complex, which is based in Washington, D.C. Name the band in the picture and the world's largest museum, education and research complex, which is based in Washington, D.C. OK, let's recap all ten of those. Firstly, question number 41, name the drag queen in the picture and the song by American band Survivor, released in 1982, which was also the theme song for the film Rocky III. Number 42, name the item between my hands, and the song by American band Snow. The child's... 
reading the wrong screen. A child, the item between the screen and a child's toy that consists of a stick with brightly coloured pieces of plastic at one end that turn around when you blow them or hold the toy in the wind. Number 43, name the actor in the picture and the malleable metal alloy consisting of tin, antimony, copper, bismuth and sometimes silver. Number 44, name the singer in the picture and the comedy film telling the story of an upper class broker played by Dan Aykroyd and a poor street hustler Eddie Murphy whose lives cross when they are unwittingly made the subject of an elaborate bet. Number 45, name the singer in the picture and an organised military force equipped for fighting on land. Number 46, name the season and a break in a theatre performance. Number 47. Name the actress in the picture. And why is it whenever you're holding something you get a really itchy nose? <laughs> state in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. The state capital in Salem and its largest city is Portland. Number 48. Well, I'm laughing at my joke anyway. Number 48. Name the cartoon character and the Canadian-American sci-fi series based on unused material by Gene Roddenberry, starring Kevin Sorbo as High Guard Captain Dylan Hunt. Number 49, name the cartoon character, also a toy, and the sweet cocktail made with rum, coconut and pineapple juice. And number 50, name the band in the picture and the world's largest museum education and research complex which is based in Washington DC. Okay, hopefully you all have answers for all of those ones. And, you know, we don't give clues for this round anymore. Question number 41. Here is the answer. The drag queen in the picture is, of course, Lawrence Cheney. And the song by Survivor is the Eye of the Tiger. Or Eye of the Tiger. We have Lawrence Cheney Eye of the Tiger. Two points. One point for Lawrence Cheney and one point for... Eye of the Tiger 2 if you've got them all together Lawrence Chennai of the Tiger I've just had to go and ruin it I... I've ruined the illusion and an itchy head
Number 42 is a rolling pin and the child's toy that consists of a stick with brightly coloured pieces of plastic that spins around when you blow it is a pinwheel. The answer for 42 is rolling pinwheel. Number 43 is Ryan Philippi and the malleable metal alloy consisting of tin, antimony and copper, bismuth and sometimes silver is pewter. The answer is Ryan Philippewter. Number 44. The singer in the picture is Joan Armour Trading, and the comedy film telling the story of an upper-class broker and poor street hustler, starring Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy, is Trading Places. Joan Armour Trading Places. Number 40... Number 45. Uh, the singer is Shakira... And the organised military force equipped for fighting on land is Army, Shikirami. Shikirami, Shikirami. Number 46. The season in the picture is winter. A break in a theatre performance is the interval. The answer for 46 is Winterval. Number 47, the actor in the picture, or actress in the picture, is Demi Moore, and the state in the, nor in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, with the state capital of Salem and the largest city is Portland, is Oregon, which is Demi Morrigan. Can we have Winterlude? Do you know what? Uh, yeah, for question 46, I will give you Winterval and Winterlude. Because I didn't give you, I didn't give it to you on the last one. You can have it on that one. I will give you Winterval or Winterlude. Uh, Demi Morrigan is forty-seven, and number forty-eight. The cartoon character in the picture is Banana Man. The Canadian American sci-fi series is Andromeda. The answer is Banana Mandromeda. Number 49, the cartoon character, or toy, is Teddy Ruxpin. This sweet cocktail made with rum, coconut and pineapple juice is Pina Colada. The answer is Teddy Ruxpina Colada. And finally, number 50, the band in the picture is Aerosmith. The world's largest museum, education and research complex, which is based in Washington, D.C., is the Smithsonian. The answer is Aerosmithsonian. Oh, okay. So there's also, so we've got Winterval, Winterlude and Winter Mission. Yes, all of those. Winterval, Winterlude, Winter Mission. I, I, I like that. Winter Mission. Don't forget it's two points for each of those. So if you've put Aerosmith, you get a point. If you put Smithsonian, it's another point. Aerosmithsonian, two points. And now I'm just waiting for the uh, the scores to come in. Poke Raiders scores are in.
can can I pronounce the last name? Which last name? Oh, Odeon. Or in in Spain, it's uh, Odeonne. But uh, yeah, Odeon. Not Odeon. Right, the scores are in. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna go down the list, and then I'll tell you who won. So, because I always, I always mess this bit up. Question number... No, questions? Where am I going? So the scores. Twerps are 40 points. Pulp Burtsters, 48. Ginger and the Technophobes, 52. Great Excuse for a Midweek Drink, 40. Across the Pond, 52. Selling Out, 43. Pokey Raiders, 50. Which means that this week's winners are both Ginger the Technophobes and Across the Pond. You came first. And in last place... Twerps and great excuse for a midweek drink. So no one's going home alone. I should rephrase that. Everybody has company this week. Well done to you, and especially well done to Ginger the Technophobes and to Across the Pond. Here is your round of applause. Round of applause, round of applause. And that's it. That's the end of the quiz. And for, I'm still over. I'm three minutes over. Three past nine, so I do apologize. Um, so that's the end of the quiz. I will return next week with some more challenging questions for you in the quiz and as i say every week thank you so much for joining me i appreciate it so much and without you it would just me be me sat here stumbling across words that i just cannot pronounce and i don't know why i do this to myself every single week but i would like to say this week i did not accidentally show any questions any answers before I should have done? So, you know, if, if if you see the people from last week, just let them know that this was nearly a perfect quiz. That being said, thank you again for joining me. I hope to see you again very soon. Stay safe and bye. Dear Diary, I told the cat about how my dearest human has promoted me, teaching me to shake so I can participate in his business dealings. However, cat pointed out that I'm often unaware of what I'm shaking on. For example, when I shook the neighbor's hand this morning, I have no clue what I agreed to. None. Cat says this is how the devil buys souls. I will pee on the bed for comfort. <laughs>